wanted to bring you a quick haul um, from Trader Joe's and the Sam's Club. Those are the two places that I went grocery shopping today, so I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So I'm going to start with Sam's Club because this is on top here. I have my little cart. Um, the first thing I picked up were these Garden of Eaton blue chips. They're corn tortilla chips, and they're made with organic blue corn. These were like five, six dollars maybe. Um, but it's a really big bag. I've never had them before. Not these specific ones. I've had blue tortilla chips before. There's 24 ounces in here. Um, and they are very, like, straightforward. They have corn, oil, and salt, sea salt, to be specific. I do apologize because I'm going to keep looking not at the um, camera itself. I'm going to be looking over here because I'm looking at myself because I'm on my phone. Um, so I do apologize. And I apologize because I'm just getting over a cold. So I'm very hey right now. The next item I got were these Stacey Cheetah Chips Simply Naked. I really know what these are. Literally the best Cheetah Chip out there. Um, and this is a 28 ounce bag also. Again, right around the same price, five, six dollars. Which is awesome because you at like the normal store you pay like two fifty, three, four dollars just for like a regular sixteen ounce bag maybe, I think. Right? And then I got these um Boulder Canyon Authentic Foods Olive Oil Kettle Cook Potato Chips. My mom eats these all the time. And this is 24 ounces as well. Um, I've never tried them. I was looking for organic food. I mean, vegan food. And then I found that. And yeah, that's what happened. Um, I am not completely off all like milk products, um, dairy products, stuff like that. Um, meat, I've completely eliminated from my diet. Um, there are still certain foods that incorporate, that may have like a little bit of like dairy or what have you in the ingredients. Um, cause certain things I just don't pay attention to like bread, um, stuff like that. Um, but majority is all vegan. Um, so that's good. The next thing I got was this two pack Sarah Lee Artisan Bakery Bread. It's a two pack. I've never tried this. I was trying to find some bread. They had this. It was five bucks for both. Figured I'd try it. I didn't see any ingredients in there that were dairy or anything like that, so hopefully they're good. Um, I picked up these Members Mark Adult Multivitamin Gummies. These, um, I was trying to find some that didn't have gelatin in them. I was going to pick them up at Trader Joe's. I forgot when I was at Trader Joe's, so I decided to look at Sam's just in case. And... Guess what? Vegetarian. Um, no peanuts, no cheech, no tree nuts, no dairy, no eggs, no high fructose corn syrup. Um, there's no gelatin in them. There's no nothing. Um, so I was very happy when I found those. I actually bought those previously, um, but they didn't have the right amount of like vitamins I wanted at the time. So I gave them to my mom. And it turns out I'm buying them again. So that worked. The next item are these, um, I think they're black grapes. <sighs> um, no clue. But they're Midnight Beauty Black Seedless Grapes, yeah. Black grapes. And they were super cheap. This entire thing, which is three pounds, was $4.94, I believe, at Sam's. So, huge bargain. Actually, I think they were cheaper than that. I think they were $3.94. Um, I just picked up an extra bag of dough coleslaw, so I like to mix it in with a lot of stuff. And then my favorite is Sam's, this four pack of romaine. This is like five, six bucks, and you get, no, there's five, no, there's six. <laughs> so you get six. Of these for like six dollars, so it's like a dollar a head. 
which is great because when you go to the store, you pay like three, four dollars for like two or three. I can't do that. <sighs> Alright, so Trader Joe's. I already have my case of water back there. I can get my finger to point to it. Right here, the alkaline water that I love from there. Um, I was scared I was going to run out though before I have a chance to go to the grocery store again. So I just picked up a couple what, of the 50 ounce bottles. It's a liter and a half. So I got four of those. Guys. Um, I got some Trader Joe's Pita Bite Crackers Naturally Baked with Sea Salt. I have not tried these yet. I will let you guys know how I like them on my Twitter and my Instagram. Make sure you follow me. I'll put a link right here. And then I got... I love these colors. Like They're so exciting. I got two cans of traditional style Trader Joe's fat-free refined beans. And I keep seeing this everywhere, so I finally picked it up. I'll let you guys know what I think of it again. Twitter, Instagram. I apologize. Like I really apologize. Um, it's a Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. Um, the main ingredient is sea sesame seeds, then sea salt flakes, dried minced garlic, dried minced onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. I'm not a fan of poppy seeds, so we'll see how I like it, but I will let you guys know. So that's it for one bag. And we're on the last bag, guys. Oh, God. Um, I got two ears of corn from Trader Joe's. I don't know why. It was like there when I walked in and I was like, I want corn. These are so defrosted now. <coughs> um, I got two things of Brussels sprouts from True Belgian Trader Joe's. I never had these. Um, I tried looking for Brussels sprouts the last time I was in there and they were sold out. I think I went to two different ones and they were sold out. So I was very upset. Um, I love Brussels sprouts. Um, I think it's because they're only 99 cents for this big ass bag. So I think that's why they're, they're sold out. All I know is I'm happy that they have them. Um, I got these Trader Joe's Portobello Mushroom Fries. They look really wanky <laughs> and not appetizing. Um, but when I was checking out, the guy was like, oh, these are so good. He's like, make sure you just cook them long enough so they, they're crispy. Um, and they're not that mushy texture. And I was like, thanks. So, my advice to you guys as well. Um, I haven't tried theirs yet. I usually try, um, the Go Veggie. But it's vegan cream cheese. Alternative, plain classic from Trader Joe's, 8 ounces. So, we'll see how I like this one. And then I picked up some more Trader Joe's Tandoori Naan. This is so freaking good, you guys. So not good for you. <laughs> but it's so good. Like, one of the, like, mind you, it's like the whole package. Like, one of them takes up, like, the size of this package. One is 230 calories. Um, so literally, like, if you have it, like, with a salad at night, oh gosh, a little bit of butter on there. Amazing. Like, seriously. Um, but yeah, there's four in here. All you have to do is pop them in the oven for like 10 minutes. So they're nice and warm and yummy. Put some butter on them. They're good to go. Um, I wanted to try their fries. So I picked up a bag of Trader Joe's homemade cut potato fries. You guys, if you tried any of this stuff. You guys, if you tried any of this stuff that I'm saying I haven't tried yet, please, please, please let me know if you like it in the comments down below. Please let me know. Please let me know things that I should try. Um, preferably 
delicious things. Um, I'm literally obsessed with Trader Joe's. I went there for their water. Um, I heard about their water, so I started drinking it. I have acid reflux. The doctor wants me to take medicine. I take it as I feel like it. I don't take it all the time. Um, if I feel like I need to take it, I'll take it. Um, but I'm trying not to do like the every day you have to take a pill type thing. Um, because my doctor told me I had high blood pressure too. I think my doctor looked at me, saw I was fat, and was like, you need high blood pressure medicine. Um, I haven't been to the doctor in literally like 10 or 15 years. I finally went to the doctor. Of course my blood pressure is going to be high when I go in because I'm freaking terrified you're going to tell me I have some type of disease or something. I haven't been to the doctor in 10 years. I'm terrified. So for your immediate reaction, the one time I have high blood pressure to put me on medication, I was pissed. So anyway, I basically took it, took myself off of it because I was getting hot flashes and I was getting headaches. I told the doctor, she's like, well, aren't you, you don't get that when you're off the medicine? I'm like, no, I don't. And she's like, well, I want you to take this medicine instead. And it was medicine you take two times a day. And then she told me if I don't take it and I don't wean myself off of it when I want to stop, I'm at risk for like cardiac whatever. So I was like, dude, I'm not taking this shit. Long story short, I changed doctors because I was pissed. Um, and I've been monitoring my own blood pressure. My blood pressure's fine. Like, literally fine. So, um, yeah, I was kind of mad. Um, so I will never go to that doctor again. Because I was very upset. But anyway, this is a different doctor. But they told me just to take, like, the Nexium pills over the counter stuff every single day. Long story short, because this is going on and on and on and on. Um, I started drinking alkaline water. I know you shouldn't have, like, every day. I don't really care. Um, but... I started drinking it, and I just drank it one day. And I mean, I drink like a lot. Like, I drink two, probably 100 ounces. And my acid reflux was fine. Like, it was okay. I was like, oh my gosh. So I started Googling stuff, and it said that alkaline water can, it's got something in it where it can, like, burn the acid in your stomach, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, now I'm obsessed. Anyway. I started going to Trader Joe's for the water. And then when I went there, I saw all kinds of other stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff's amazing. So I like picked some stuff up, I tried some stuff, I did this, I did that, and then that's when I decided to go mostly vegan. Um, so it's been a change in the stuff that I'm buying now. And I see all the other stuff and it looks so good. I'm like, oh my gosh, like the orange chicken, teriyaki chicken, like all that stuff. You guys know if you go there in that frozen section, that's so freaking tempting. <sighs> oh, um, <laughs> But, no, I, I'm, I'm okay. But, yeah, ever since, like, I started going there, I'm, like, addicted. Like, and, like, the service, like, you put your cart up there and they just take everything and they pack it for you. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. <sighs> Man, like, it's amazing. Like, seriously. Okay, so let me finish up because all my stuff's gonna melt. <laughs> Alright, I got another package of Light, what's this thing? Light Life. Light Life. Smart dogs, meatless, veggie hot dogs. Um, these are okay. Um, I haven't really tried anything else. I did try this like sausage thing um, from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, I picked up these California. I picked up these cauliflower and broccoli vegetable patties. I have no clue what they taste like. I don't know what they look like. Well, I guess they look like this. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try these. And then I got my hummus, hummus. Two of the creamy classic hummus. I got two of these. I absolutely love their hummus. Um, does it taste different than anybody else's? No, not really. I just like it because I think it's from Trader Joe's. And then, this is so freaking melted. Um, I picked up Trader Joe's soy creamy vanilla I don't know what this says. Non-dairy frozen dessert made with organic soy milk and cane sugar. Never tried it. I didn't even really have anything like this. I saw it today, so I was excited. And then I got this coconut beverage vanilla flavored. Non-dairy, obviously. Really quick, I just want to show you guys the other two, um, like, meat products I bought this week at Trader Joe's. Yes, I've been there more than once this week. I got carrot and pea vegetable patties too. Again, just like the other one. 
feel like this is the same picture. Let's look at this. Close. They're not quite. <laughs> um, I got those and then I got these Trader Joe's Quinoa Cowboy Veggie Burgers with black beans and roasted corn. So, um, I will, again, post on Instagram and Twitter when I try these products. I'll let you guys know. Um, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.